Well done. Half. Whole halved. This is exciting. It is. Good evening. Welcome back to Crook Hill Park. My name's Corinne and this is... Neil. And we are here just to do a little bit of a three-hole match, aren't we? Yep. A little bit of a difference. Yeah, we are playing off the whites. I'm playing off the whites as well as you. Yes. Now, we've picked, uh, we've picked three holes, two of them. There's quite a big difference in where the reds and the whites are. So, I don't know if you can see. The, what, the reds are just up there. Uh, there. You can see the reds there. And obviously, the whites are here. It's probably about a 30-yard difference. Something like that, yeah. I would um, say so. 50-yard difference, because on there it says... In fact, no whites we're going from, isn't it? Wow, there's about 60-yard difference. Whites are 416 yards. I think we're, we're a little bit forward on whites today, though. I don't think yeah, it's Yeah, but four, reds say 355. Yeah. So, um, am I giving you any shots on this one? Oh, I should think so. <laughs> Give me two shots. I'll have one on this hole and one on ninth. Yeah, but it's... Yeah, but oh, no. No, one not then. You don't have to. Yeah, but it's... Yeah, is no, it, no we'll, we'll call it, we'll call it <laughs> even there. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm going further. Don't rub me shots as well. It's actually, it's only 360. Hang on, what, what hole are we on? Six. Hang on. Get the right hole up. It, from here to the middle of the green, so according to this, it's 393 yards. OK, well, reds is going to be at least 340, isn't it? Yeah. There's about 50 yard difference, anyway. Well, reds so, won't alter that much from that, will they? No. So probably, probably about 40, 40 yards difference. So we're doing it as a scratch match, that's, what, yeah. that's my question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Carry scratch on. Scratch then. then. Uh, you'll go first. Uh, you'll go first. Ladies first. Oh, shut up. Age before beauty. Well, I said ladies first, didn't it, as well, so... This is true. You, you're more a lady than I am, lovey. Oh, it's, <laughs> oh I don't like this. It's, this is a bit far, isn't it? Oof. I think, one thing, Colin, you know when people joke with you yeah. and say, oh, it's a long walk to Reds, I think you can appreciate what they're saying now, but... It's a great shot. It's a great shot. It's middle of the fairway. It's bouncing a little bit, isn't it, but... I've got a shot in there still. Yeah, but you, you, that's you're probably about 40 yards short than you would be. That, that's not bad. No, it's to, good. to be fair, I'm a normal shot up there. I kind of hit the banking as it's, as it's starting to go uphill. Yeah. And that slows my shot down anyway, doesn't yeah. it? So, so I probably have hit further on this one than I normally do. So. Well, you've not ended up further, have you? So no, I haven't ended up further. Thanks for pointing that out to me. The other side of the trees. I broke my tea. You broke your tea? I mean, there's nothing quite as satisfying as breaking your tea, is there? Bumper. Little fairway wood. This is quite interesting. That's Neil's. What did you take the tea off with? I took a five wood. And what are you using now to bump it out? I'm just going to knock a seven wood, I think. Hopefully, anyway. My drive. Just to get it back in play. Quite interesting. Yep. Up there. Yep, it's okay. Fine. I was saying, that drive of mine, I'm normally somewhere near the bunkers. It's not actually that far behind where I normally am. Quite pleased with that. So what are you taking there, Corinne? Are you taking there? I'm going with me three wood. Three wood. Oh, it's in the trees. Not going to plan then, Kai. I mean, I'm pleased it was quite good, good, good contact. Good contact. Yeah, Slightly it, directly it, challenged. It was excellent contact, Kai. <laughs> so much so it bounced into the trees. Yes. Hard luck. What have you got? I've got 159 to middle of green. What are you taking? I'm just going to take an eight iron. And get it down there, I think. Poor 
all above my feet, weren't it? So it's going to go that way. Down there somewhere. But it's all right there. It's all right. Let's go and find mine. Mine's in there somewhere. I'm there for three. I've got a massive handicap. That's my drive. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks. Go and find mine. Someone's had a bit of good, bad luck. She's on the path. She could take relief, but either way, she's putting herself in more trouble. So I think what she's going to do is she's just going to punt one down here, Corin. Yeah. We'll try to anyway. I don't know where that's gone. It's off to the right of the bunker. All right, okay. You're out. That was a cracking shot, that. I, I thought you'd have taken a more steady one straight down <laughs> at the other bunker, though, to be Look, honest. I can't afford not to take my shots. I've got to try and beat you. We're both down there for three. So I've got a bit of a fluffy lie. Got a sand iron, hopefully it'll get somewhere near. I've not been hitting them great today, but too much. Too much. Ooh. Yeah, I think Corin's got an awful lie here to be totally honest. She's it's on a, a downhill I've got, slope. I've got, I've got a decent lie, I've just got that. No, they, no they, well, yeah, but it's on a downhill, that's what I'm saying, Corin. It's, you know, it's going to be very difficult to um, to get near the hole, hopefully. <laughs> Looking at mine. See, it's just going to catch that down slope now. I'm fine, I'm not in there. She's not in the bunker, so that's that's good. So this you're there for four, I'm there for four. Yeah. There's Neil. Too much, is it? Not bad. Still some work left in that one. But I didn't want to be short. No, oh, never up, never in. Exactly. Corinne's got a tricky one, but she probably leave it quite close to all if she does miss. But she, as you've seen on some other vlogs, she's been putting quite well. It's not quite in gimme range, but she'll finish that one off. She'll finish it off, Corin, if you want. I'm going to, but I just need to mark it back up again. Six down. You've got to put this for half. Put it. You don't always have to remind me, you know. Well, I do. I remind the viewers. I'm sure they're paying attention. Well done. Half. Whole half. This is exciting. It is. So this is hole seven. It says 327 from the whites, 290 from the reds, and the reds is just at the end of the tee box. It doesn't, it didn't look too daunting from the reds, but actually from here, it is still quite a big difference. I don't like it. I think it's because you've got the, you've got the trees, when you're on the reds, you've got trees on one side rather than two, haven't you? Yeah. I think that trees, might be tree right. by Bounce towards drop. the trees on the right yeah. hand side. But I'm pleased I'm not in any of the trees at the side.
Oh, yeah, well, you've gone into the trees as well, but the more Not quite as good. <laughs> oh dear. Mm, bad shot into trees. Never mind. So, Neil, that's a delightful shot. It is. I'm telling you to do. Come it over the trees. Just over the trees. I've just seen it drop. I didn't see it drop. I did see it drop. I can it see went... it. Right between them two trees there. You did see it drop? Yep. Am I still in the trees then? Yep. Oh, that's good then. He committed, but not enough. I would normally, if I was a bit further out, get a pitching wedge over, but I'm too far in. So I am just going to, on this occasion, knock it out. Or top it out. Top it out, well topped. Into play. Top shot. Top shot. So poor Neil, this is where poor Neil ended up. What are you going to do, knock it out to the side? I can knock it sideways, but I can also knock it down there. I mean, knock it somewhere that you can get a shot into the green at least. I think that's what I'm planning on doing, Corey. Ooh, that got a nice kick. Oh my God, how did you do that? Well, you've, got I, a, you've got a kick off I that just, little wood on the uh, I just fairway. Looked, I looked at that wood there, Corey, and I thought, if I can just hit it on the right hand side of it, it'll skew it over towards green. Honestly, I've never known anyone that gets as much luck with wood. Timber. Timber. Wood. Timber! <laughs> so what's your plan? You're bumping one down? I'm going to bump one down with me uh, three wood. Yeah. I think it's downhill and I don't want to get gnarled in the trees. Oh, yours kicked the other way. Oh! You've actually knocked my ball <laughs> further back. I'm playing bowls with your ball. Come yeah, on. <laughs> I think we're actually that's, that's now a level shot. So we've got we're both there for three, here. yeah, exactly. Yeah. Be interesting. Mm. Do I move mine back or do I play it from there? I don't know what the rule is, actually. You do move it back, but I don't know where it were. I'm not close enough, so I'll play it from where it is. It was... It was but kind of halfway between where they are now, I'd imagine. Yeah. So we're both level pegging. Actually, that's your ball, mind it, yeah. Oh, so I pinged mine the other way and yours went forward? Yeah. Oh, well, good if we didn't just play it, because it's going to be a, a forfeit match. Yeah. Well, it's your shot in now, isn't it? Which gives me options. Yeah. Oh. That was not good. Well, I think in, if you think about how you've been traditionally playing your chip shots, Colin, it's not bad. No, but it's not, not where I want it to be. Oh, that's not where I want it to be. And you're either. going the opposite way. Well, aren't we all right it's here? on the green, though, isn't it? So it's on the green. No, I'm taking my putter. Do you know that didn't break at all? Over that mound, I thought it was going to break round to the left. This is not looking good. Oh, good effort. Up five down. Oh, you can have that. Can I have it? Uh, Feeling generous. Is it five down? This is, is this five for you or? Yeah. Is it? Oh, yeah. No. Yeah, it isn't. It? Yeah, it will be five. We're both three over there. Yeah, yeah. Four there, four there. Five, five. Oh, you're six down, sorry. So you need this for six. That's only this for six. Yeah. It's only this to have a hole. We match each other shots. Just to shot. remind the viewers, a six would get me a normal. Normally get me a net. But I clean another pitch mark that someone's left. Oh, too much. Oof. 
So one up then? Yes. Oh dear. One hole to try and pull it back there. So Neil's one up. This one is hole nine. This is where there's a big difference because I don't know if you can see the uh, the lady sees sorry the red tees are over there and it's about 75 yards ahead. So 301 yards for the reds, 374 for the whites. So this one scares me. It scares me. It scares you every time, doesn't it? It does. Pound I've hit right. it, but it's gone. Well, <laughs> kick back into the It's hit a tree. It's not in the fairway, but it has hit a tree. I'm quite... I'm, I'm happy with that shot because I, I caught that one well. Yeah. I teed it up a little bit more than that one, Karen, to be honest. Yeah. Corvin yesterday from the ladies... Sorry, from the forward tees, the red tees. She was just about level with a 150 marker. So it'll be a good comparison today. She's, she's caught it, but she's I'm out. She's out, but she, she's, the way she's played it, if you, if you look down, sorry, if you look down here, at these trees down this side, with Corinne, they never normally come into play, but for the guys, Always in they play. always come in play because actually over the edge of those trees is the, is the tiger fairway. line. Yeah. So it's, <sighs> it's, it's the, the, the fairway slopes from right to left. So if you land on the right of the fairway, you're going to roll onto the left. So that is the line over that edge of trees, which for the ladies on the forward tees, it never, never ever comes into play, does it? Oh, well, it does today. But, but on a Saturday, you quite see quite a lot of guys. Always, in those trees looking. Them trees, always. So this is me, and I'm not quite sure what I'm supposed to do with this because um, oh, let's take my six hybrid. I've got that big tree in front of me, which I also don't want to clip. I don't want to get too far to the left because it's going to roll onto the fairway. Oh, well it's rolled through the other side of the tree, which is better than nothing. I think I tried to smash that one. In fact, I actually got the wrong club. I meant to take my six and I'll pick my four up. That'd be white then. Neil is over there. Awful light. Well, not an awful light. To the side, I'm left. Hit a nice one up. It's fine there. Sorry, up the fairway there. Hmm. Well, I thought she was playing a choice. She just walked off. <laughs> now I want me for a hybrid because I don't want to be. I don't, I don't want loft because otherwise I'm going to catch that tree. So this this is your third, yeah? Yes, this is my third. Well, it's out. It's out. Sounded a bit toppy, Corinne, that. It did, but it's out and I'm on the fairway yeah. and I've got a shot in. What you got? It's 123, but it's up, uphill. But the wind is behind as well, so that's a bit of a... Slightly, isn't it? Yeah. What are you taking? I've got a gap wedge, but with that wind, I'm not sure I might take my sand. But it's uphill, isn't it? Yeah, I'll go gap wedge. Grip it and rip it. I don't really want to rip it, I just want to hit it. I mean that, that's a lovely shot. It's towards them trees though, isn't it? I bet, I bet I'm behind that tree. There's a tree. 
on the uh, Stern, I think it rolled side at green. Side. We'll see. I think it was the right club. The downside is, is that tree overhangs the green, so <laughs> anything you fly yeah, into it. But I think that <laughs> I think I'm bang behind the stump of the tree. No, I'm but, saying everything you try and yeah. fly into it is going to get gnarled up in the tree, so yeah. it's a tricky, tricky shot to play anyway. Yeah. So, but like I say, I think it was the right club choice. It was just the. Uh, and ball above my feet, so probably yeah. not always going to come that way. But but that that other side on, on the right is out of bounds. Yeah. So if you were too far that way and it hits it straight, that's all out of bounds over yeah, there. Yeah. So tough shot. So 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 what have you got there, Corey? I've got 87 to the middle. But the thing is, that is like it's almost like a false front. It look it's further than it looks. So I'm. Um, I'm gonna go with a nine. I was gonna go with an eight. Tears up uphill, Corin, so you might need to give it a bit of an extra club. Well, that's why I was going with it. Yeah, I'll go with an, I'll go with an eight. Let's go with an eight. Eight iron. A lovely strike, Corey. Tree. Oh, you, you missed the tree. Too big. You side it green, though, I think. I think I've gone off the other side. Maybe I should have gone with my nine. Oh well. I'm pleased I hit it. You the top your nine. <laughs> Thanks. No, but that's, you know, if, you, if that were the right club, I think. So I'm up there for four. Yeah. You're up there for three. Yeah. Oh. But I don't. I think I'm behind that tree, so. So not too bad. You're on the green. I'm on the green, yeah. You're on the green. I held back on that, but I tend to on me just because I fear of f flying over. Mm. But we're there, we're up there. Exactly. Corinne's a little disappointed that she's gone to the back at green. But we've just, I've just sort of like had a conversation with her and said, can you remember when you couldn't eat your irons? And it, it was the right club choice. It was just, just caught it a little bit too well. Maybe there's a wind behind, didn't help either. A nice little chip on. You happy with that? Yeah, could have given it a bit more, but I'm on, we're both on there. I'm on there for five, you're for four. Yeah. I think now I need one of uh, Corin's putts that she's been doing earlier today. Oh. Nearly had one. Not bad. I nearly had one, but uh, that's a six for me. But again, with my handicap, that would be a net par. So at the minute, I'm just happy to play if I can play to my handicap. So exactly. And then things will get better. I should play a bit of D ream there. Things can only get better. Yeah. It's like a bit of D ream. Oh dear. There I mean, you, you in the hole. Two. Two up, Colin. Two up, none to play. And that's me victorious. Yeah. First time in a long, long time, <laughs> isn't it? I'm glad we caught it on camera. <laughs> How's it feel to be a winner? Oh, it feels great to be a winner. Have you had your hair cut so you've got hair already? I know. So put my hat back on. Put your hat back on. There we go. Uh, yeah, well done. Thank you very much. That was. I was being sincere when I said that. I know you are. Well, no, I'm going to say, I'm going to put it out there now, Colin. Yeah. You're happy when I play well. I am happy when you play well. Yeah. Because you can be a grumpy no. beggar when you're not. Or you, you used to be a grumpy beggar when you when you weren't playing well, but no, now but you're not. I've got a new attitude. Exactly. So I think that's. I think these these last few, few vlogs that you've seen and the ones going forward, you'll certainly see um, some improvements in both yeah. of our games, I think. I think we're trying to be better with our shot selection as well, aren't yeah. we? Yeah, so. course management. And actually, do you know what this vlog, I know you won. Yeah. Um, 
But it was off the whites. But it was so. off the whites, and I think actually, if anything's proved, that most of the time we were pretty much shot for shot. Yeah. So it proves that you can play off the whites or the reds, and it's all about club selection. I, I, I think it was a little bit daunting for some of them whites. They I weren't too it, bad, to be fair. They weren't too bad. But it's, I think we've spoke about it before about, you know... It's a different position on the course, isn't it? It is, well, it but it still comes down to club selection. Yeah. You just club down or club up, depending yeah. on your distance. Your second shot's going to be longer for yeah. you, isn't it? That's all. Exactly. In fact, yeah. they weren't always longer, were they? Hole six it wasn't. Because my drive was ahead of yours. No, it's longer than you would normally be taking oh, yeah, that yeah, shot. That's yeah. what, no, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. You, you were... You were 30 yards back from where yeah. it would normally be, so your yeah. second shot is a longer shot in it is. than your normal second shot. Not the fact that I did a five wood <laughs> and you were in front of me with your driver. Yeah. I don't I didn't mean it like that. I said for okay. you, it's that. club selection. Your second shot is gonna be yeah. longer when you play the longer. But I'll just take a longer club than I would normally take. Well, so. Again, that's that same from for me when I'm playing like the others and whites. Yeah. Your second shot's gonna be a bit longer. So it's been a quite a good little experiment today, but uh, well done on your victory. So I hope you've enjoyed that, guys. Don't forget to hit, hit the like and the subscribe. And take care, and we'll see you next time on the golf course. But which golf course will it be? Who knows, because we're going travelling soon. So take care, stay safe, see you soon. See ya, bye.